Hello everyone, welcome to the video and today I brought you the topic of uh, blood lipid profile. In this particular uh, video format, what we will be doing is uh, I'll, I'll bring out one topic and I'll try to elaborate the concept, important concept of that topic. Today's topic is blood lipid profile. In this particular video, we'll try to understand what blood lipid profile is, how it is done, and uh, what are the important things that you need to understand. So without any delay, let's let's start the, the presentation. So I have made this presentation where I have several points I've written and I'll try to elaborate every point. So we'll start uh, with this animation that you're seeing. It's a triglyceride molecule and we all know that triglyceride molecule they are an important component of our blood and uh, in addition to that we have cholesterol different types of cholesterol that we'll also uh, try to understand in this video so we'll start with the first point which is what is blood lipid profile so in this video i'll start with the understanding of blood lipid profile second one is how it can be tested so it's a test so we can understand how the test is being done next what the results mean means if you get the results out from this test and how you can analyze those results and understand the significance of those results so moving on to the first slide or rather i will say second slide uh, which is the main core of this particular topic is what is a blood lipid profile so blood lipid profile is nothing but it's a simple test that measures the amount of cholesterol and fat in your in your blood so basically if someone is having a lot of fats in their diet so it's going to increase the concentration of the fats in your bo in your body in in the blood so you need a test that that can determine the amount of fats and cholesterol in your blood and then you also you also know that it is linked with the heart disease so uh, next important point is the concentration of fats and cholesterol is directly linked to the development of the uh, risk of heart disease next point so how is blood lipid profile tested what is the process of uh, performing blood lipid profile so it's a simple blood test that we have already already seen so that means you need a blood from the person another important point is the the person that is giving the blood for this particular test uh, need to fast for 9 to 12 hours before the test so the person should not eat or drink any kind of uh, um, energy giving drinks or energy giving fruits so person needs to only stay on 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 water not eating or drinking anything that can adds up that that can add up into the uh, maybe fat and carbohydrates in the blood so that is the requirement of the test so no eating before the that before the test then sample of the blood will be drawn from the from the body and it will be sent for the analysis so there there will be a lab bio biochemical lab that will analyze the sample of of the blood that the person is giving so this is the illustration showing the the tube containing the blood now it, it went for the the analysis next it what do the next is sorry i'm i'm not feeling well today so pardon me for that what do the results mean so what are the significance of these results uh, the point number one is cholesterol and fats so this will provide the information regarding the cholesterol and fats in the blood so it will tell about the total cholesterol and the total cholesterol limit is below 200 mg per tl so this is the limit that is being provided it may depend upon uh, what person is giving the sample maybe children they are giving the sample maybe women's maybe old people they are giving the sample so i think this is this is for a male average male of uh, probably around in the in the uh, in the 20 20 or 30 uh, 30 range of the years that they are they are having so it's adult male i guess 
and then moving on to the further cholesterols hdl cholesterol which is also known as good good cholesterol the limit should be 60 mg or higher so this is the good cholesterol that is good for our body next is ldl cholesterol it's a bad cholesterol so we need to decrease the amount of this particular cholesterol and the uh, the the limit is being mentioned which is 100 mg per dl but you know you 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 may not need to analyze these things by yourself so there will be a trained physician that will that will tell you that what is the optimum range and it it, it is going to be it is definitely going to be a range from high to lower and if if your uh, if yours or any any person who is giving the sample falls into that that particular range that means your uh, cholesterol is in the normal range but i'm right now i'm just mentioning and giving you some values that i found in the literature next is triglycerides. right these are another fat molecules that are important so they are directly linked with your um, uh, the risk of heart disease so it, they should be below 150 mg per dl next moving on to the next slide uh, is what do high level mean high levels mean so what is the meaning of that increase in those cholesterols and um, the fat molecules the so high level of total cholesterol ldl cholesterol or triglycerides these are the chemical compounds that are not good for your body so development of the risk of development of heart disease is there next is high level of hdl cholesterol that is good for the body that is good for the heart it should be indicating that there is a decreased risk of the heart disease so that is another point next moving on to how to improve the results so now we have performed the test now we understand how it is being done what are the criteria that need needs to be followed next is improve your results how we can improve our results of all those fat molecules and uh, after doing the blood lipid profile there are several things you can do and make your disease heart a little bit healthier and that that is basically what we want to do we need to take care of our body so there are several things one is healthy diet you need to take the diet that is healthy that is less in in fats that is less in carbohydrates it should be rich in fibers and vitamins next is exercise regularly and next another point is losing weight so exercising regularly is another important point because you need to consume all those uh, energy molecules that you are putting in your body and next is losing weight and you don't want to keep uh, those molecule in molecules in your body because they're going to accumulate and increase the weight of your of your body and that is also not good next is quitting smoking or drinking if something like that is happening in in your in your um, lifestyle you need to actually change that because smoking is definitely is not something you need to do next is taking medication so if a uh, doctor is recommending some of the medications then then you need to follow otherwise there is a risk of development of heart disease so this point is is strictly uh, should be by the recommendation of the healthcare provider next so conclusion now we are on to the conclusion so last point which is conclusion let's conclude everything that we have learned in this blood lipid profile is an important test that we all know because this is giving the information of the fat molecules that are in your blood and they are directly linked with the heart disease next is risk of development of heart disease i've already told you that this is directly linked with the heart disease next point is cholesterol or fat molecules how many cholesterol how many different types of cholesterol molecules are there and and then what is the range then fats because they are directly linked with the heart disease next is what are the different things you can do to improve the results or the outcomes eating a healthy diet exercise regularly losing weight quitting smoking and drinking and taking medications are some of the important points that you need to always pay attention to and they are going to help you decrease the body weight so as you can see if you do anything any of these things they are directly interlinked losing weight you need to do exercise and you need to eat healthy quitting smoking will help you to lose weight and also 
uh, will improve uh, the eating habits and next is taking medications this is something that will be recommended by the physician and then if you require medications then you need to follow that next is this is the final point and thank you for watching this entire video i'm sure that uh, the information that has been provided is going to help you to understand what blood lipid profile is why it is important how it can be done and what are the information that you get from this particular test and how you can improve the outcome of the of the particular test if the test results are bad what are the different things that you need to do all right thank you for watching the video i'll meet you in my new video where i'll try to bring out important topic like this and try to share the knowledge the information that i have acquired from different sources and i'm sure that this is going to help you to understand that particular topic all right i'll meet you in the next video till then take care